Ascension News, 2019, a year of intensifying light. Dear Starseed, this year 2019 is a year of intensifying light. Light is shifting everything across the planet. This is creating a certain acceleration of ascension symptoms and also some external chaos where there is a vibrational dissonance between the inner reality of intention, thought, belief, desire and feeling and the external reality being experienced. The light seeks to align us with our authentic truth, even if that means creating a certain amount of chaos to get us there. The prime directive is to live out our authentic truth, awaken our inner potential and complete our soul contract of service on the planet. Wherever we are in this process, it is important to own full responsibility for our words, choices and actions. We must also own full responsibility for any supposed block or obstacle in the path. All blocks and obstacles are chosen, even if this choice is made unconsciously, out of perhaps a belief inherited from another lifetime or a family pattern we have adopted. Blocks and obstacles create a certain damming up of our psychic energy, which can result in enormous pressure. This pressure seeks to break through any block or obstacle, and often the momentum of breaking through can carry us quite a distance along our intended path. Psychic pressure is being felt at a personal and collective level. Let's look at the collective pressure for a moment. Right now forces have been building within the collective consciousness that seek to tear down political and financial systems that create injustice. These systems have become increasingly unjust over the past decade or so. Pressure in the collective recently broke through with the yellow vest demonstrations in France which have also spread to other parts of Europe. Psychic pressure will continue to build this year. Old systems of control that do not resonate with light are losing their energetic integrity. Even though many within the controlling structures are aware that they are losing ground, there is a great disbelief and naivety about this. The idea that the masses are ignorant sheep to be controlled has been prevalent for a long time. Yet as we can see the sheep are revolting as the mass consciousness becomes better informed about what the 0.001% have been up to. Whistleblowers have helped greatly in this process and this is why so much effort is being exerted by Britain and the United States in bringing down Julian Assange to so-called justice. Although there is pressure to tear down systems that create injustice, many systems can be transformed by the light. This is part of the divine plan not to destroy everything but to transform. To give you an example, in the past, Christianity surpassed and suppressed paganism by building churches on holy pagan sites and by celebrating festivals on pagan festive dates. Christianity could not have succeeded if it had sought to destroy the pagan religion outright. Similarly, in this time of ascension, some old structures will be transformed rather than be destroyed. An example of this is perhaps the financial system on the planet, which is responsible for so much collective misery and injustice. Destroying this system without anything else to take over in its place would throw the planet into chaos. So instead of destruction, having new financial platforms and mechanisms come online that break apart the old control system without sending the planet into chaos is a much better option. Similarly, controlling bloodlines such as the Royal British Monarchy can be taken over by the light rather than being destroyed. The most notable star seed to enter therein was Princess Diana, who was an incredibly brave soul, who was able to bring about an injection of a new, higher frequency energy into the bloodline. This was a difficult mission and one that ultimately cost her her life, yet this opened the door for more star seeds to enter therein. When we understand the nature of ascension, we also realize this is a journey from dark to light. We have passed through a very dark time on the planet and we are emerging into a bright new dawn. This year 2019 is a time of dawning light for many. 
old dark forces are losing their power to control and interfere. For some time a war has been waged against starseeds on the inner planes by dark forces seeking to block the ascension process. Many starseeds have come under psychic attack. Many have felt constrained from following their true authentic path of light. Yet more and more tools and dispensations are coming online to banish the darkness from our reality. I have shared some tools on this YouTube channel and there are many others offering different methods and techniques. A few decades ago, there was not so much information around in dealing with dark force interference. There was also not much awareness that dark forces were interfering to the extent they have been. Now everything is coming to the light to be witnessed, healed and released. We have passed through many, many lifetimes where the dark has been the ascendance. In this year, 2019, the balance has swung. Now the light is fully in the ascendance. So this year, 2019, we're being asked to align with our deepest truth. For those who have passed through this time of awakening from caterpillar to cocoon to butterfly, this year has great potential. This is a year where we can fully release old patterns of struggle, suffering and limitation. This year can bear much fruit and joy. New doors of possibility can open. New gifts and abilities can come online. For those who are still passing through the stages of awakening, there are still old energies to shake off and new energies to align with. There can still be lessons to be embraced and learned. And this is well summed up by Portia Nelson's poem, There's a Hole in My Sidewalk. Do check it out on Google. If you do not find yourself much supported in this process by those around you in the physical dimension, then you must look ever more powerfully to your support team in spirit. Do not forget to ask for help and support. This year it's important to neutralize all channels of fear, including mainstream media that only drain and lower our energy. Do stay in touch with what is happening in the world, but without being influenced by the negative agendas of those who seek to control your energy and consciousness. This is a year to focus on your dreams. Set intentions that resonate at a high frequency level. Do activities that nurture and support you. Self-care and self-love are important to allow parts of our ego that need these energies to heal and align with our soul's path. Remember, we are the magicians and map makers. We are here to create a new world. This year, some people and situations may drop away from your reality, allowing new people and opportunities to enter therein. This is how it needs to be. This year, manifestation can become much quicker and much more graceful. This is a year to open, to expand all limits to joy, all limits to love, all limits to connection, all limits to magical manifestation, all limits to your soul mission and path. Many blessings.